All right, so uh, the two products we're going to talk about here today are HTA13. Uh, that's a product that's actually been in demand for a while that a lot of people have been asking for. That is a uh, replacement of our HT503, which gives you one FXS and one FXO, as you can see from the picture. We also have our GDS3705 that we're going to talk about here today. That is our upcoming audio door system. I'm sure many of you know the GDS3705 very well, or 3710. That is our video door station. This is the audio only door station that'll kind of pair along with it. So let's start out with the HT813. This, as I mentioned, as, and as you see on the screen here, the expected launch is August 16th. Um, this is all set to launch this Thursday. Uh, today is the 14th. Uh, so this Thursday, this product will be launched worldwide. Um, we're working with our distributors worldwide to make sure that it is available or make sure that everyone has stock across the world. So this Thursday, keep an eye out and over the next week or two, you should be able to start placing orders. Um, so the HD813, as I mentioned, it is something that uh, has actually been in demand for a little while. It is the replacement of our HD503, which is one of our older ATAs that is actually still really popular. And it's very popular because it gives you both an FXS and an FXO port. And that's really the unique thing about this device, kind of what differentiates it from our other FX, or excuse me, from our other analog telephone adapters. As you can see, gives you one FXS port and one FXO port. And that FXO port, is, excuse me, the FXS and the FXO are hardwired together so that you can use the FXO port as a PSTN lifeline. So that in case of any power outage, the connection will automatically switch over to the FXO port, which um, you will have integrated with a PSTN line so that you always have access to these two lines and to be able to make phones connected to this ATA. Gives you two of those uh, 10, 100 megabit per second ports, offers up to two SIP accounts to connected analog devices. Most of these features are really identical to our other ATAs except for the ports. Um, failover SIP server, T38 fax, um, TRO69 and XML config for mass provisioning as well as gaps. We'll talk about that in a couple of moments. Um, on the security side of things, a, it, like a lot of our devices, built with AES encryption. Um, and another thing that we do or have started doing on all of our devices um, uh, across all of our product lines is offering you or putting unique security certificates on each device. They're not shared between all of our devices. Each one has a unique one that kind of increases the security and, and kind of builds its own little firewall essentially around the device. Um, in terms of deployment scenarios, again, you know, this is an ATA. It's a pretty simple, basic product. It allows you to connect analog devices to IP networks, as I'm sure many of you know, and the unique point of this product is the PSTN backup that it offers by giving you both an FXS and an FXO port. Um, kind of three different ways and we actually just had a, we published a blog a couple of weeks ago on our blog which a couple of our partners picked up and it's, it's literally all about uh, building uh, analog or basically building hybrid analog environments. Um, different ways to use the ATA um, and, and I kind of highlight them here, but I would check out that post on our blog. Um, you know, the kind of really the three main uses for an ATA or to integrate an analog device with a VoIP network is to either maintain the investment in those analog infrastructures, but move over to a, you know, more powerful VoIP network. Um, that might be even a little bit more cost effective. The other option is hybrid analog and VoIP networks um, where you might have an internal VoIP network that is running on a PSTN trunk um, or a, you know, we see it a lot in remote areas. I got a case study I'm writing right now about a service provider in Australia um, that uses these devices to allow their customers to build internal VoIP networks um, and connect them back to analog uh, platforms which are more readily available for them. Or excuse me, I said that the complete opposite way, to integrate the analog devices they have and then connect them to a VoIP network which they can access through the internet. Uh, so the devices, the ATAs in general, as I'm sure many of you know, you know, really kind of, in my opinion, three main um, uses, office and enterprises, your SMBs, your, you know, any, Specifically, SMBs wanting to integrate those analog devices with a VoIP network to kind of save the investment that they have within residential and, you know, specifically home offices is big too. You know, we have deals with our ATAs, some of the biggest 
service providers in the world, and a lot of them are, are used by, you know, home, by people in their residences to just integrate their analog devices with more powerful, more cost-effective VoIP networks. And then, you know, the, the shops there on the right is more specific types of vertical small businesses like mom and pop shops or local service industries, restaurants that, you know, only have a couple of lines, want to take advantage of the cost savings of VoIP, but don't want to buy um, all the VoIP function out, or excuse me, all the VoIP infrastructure. Uh, I'm going to fly through the next couple of slides here, just kind of highlighting some of the features that most of this we've already talked about. Um, but the HD13 gives up to two SIP accounts, two integrated analog devices, IP, or excuse me, analog phones or fax machines. We talked about the lifeline support, which automatically, which is what you get from the FXS and the FXO on this device. Um, automatically switches to a PSTN line in case of a power outage. Again, the FXO and the FXS are hardwired to allow that to automatically happen. There's nothing you have to program for that. In terms of provisioning, gives you automated and secure mass provisioning with really the, the, the two biggest ones out there, TRO69 um, and XML config files, as well as gaps. And those of you that um, aren't familiar with gaps, gaps is the Grandstream automatic provisioning service. It's available. Um, through our distribution partners, so a lot of you that may be resellers may be using this platform, or if you're our channel partners, you may be using this platform. It's basically our own redirection mass provisioning system where you can have devices provisioned out in the field or in a warehouse, point them to our GAP server, and we'll provision them uh, from there, which is another great mass provisioning option a lot of our service provider customers use. In terms of the security, uh, we talked about the AES encryption technology and the unique security certificate on, on every device. And that security certificate, uh, some of you may have heard us talk about this in some networking webinars, but basically if every device you build, which a lot of manufacturers do do this, has the same security certificate, if you can hack into one or if you can figure out one, you can get into all the manufacturer's devices. We put a different security certificate on every device we make. Um, kind of, I think this is the final point here on the ATA. Uh, extend some really great advanced VoIP features to analog devices, including three-way caller support or three-way calling support for a large variety of caller ID formats and more. Uh, this is the last thing, I believe this is the last thing, yeah, last thing on the HT803, and this is just some other um, provisioning or management features. Um, just to point it out, this device has the same firmware and web UIs or other HT800 series ATAs, so if you know that or, you know, anything you may be using this with, if the HT800, at whatever device that you're using now works, this one will have no issues, same firmware. Um, I mentioned this earlier, this is something that is actually featured on all of our products that I think we overlook quite often, automatic failover SIP server. Just allows you to automatically have this device switch to a secondary SIP server. If the initial one goes down, this is especially great for service providers or really anyone that wants to ensure that their customers always, that their platforms are always up and running and always have a service connection. All right, so now we get to the GDS 3705. This product is expected to be launched in early September, so keep an eye out for that. It's been in our beta club for a little while now. Some of you attending this webinar may actually be a beta tester of it. So essentially what this device is, is I'm sure many of you know our 3710. That is our video, IP video door station. This is an audio only door station. As you can see from the picture, there is no camera. Um, it is essentially the GDS 3710 without the video camera built into it. So it is an audio only door access camera, built in RFID chip reader, has gives you dual mic and HD speaker for the intercom functionality, built just like the GDS 3710 with an IP66 weatherproof casing, it's PoE, it has built in alarm in and alarm out ports which allows you to integrate these with other security devices. It can be fully managed by GDS Manager, which we'll talk about in a little bit. It's a great free software program that we offer uh, to manage these devices. And, and essentially, again, what, what, a, I, what a door system allows you to do is to track, manage, and record access to any physical building, any physical room, any facility. It basically gives you um, a device that is both a security gatekeeper 
um, an intercom and a office or attendance management system all in one with this one device. So to give you an example of that, and we'll kind of break this down as we go through the next couple of slides in terms of the deployment scenarios, you see there up at the top, the device can directly be integrated or you know programmed to, to allow entry or to restrict entry based on RFID cards or chips, pin codes, um, all of those obviously uniquely programmed so that you can track who's using them, when they're using them, and to set time schedules or rules or whatnot as to what rooms they might be able to get into and when and all of that. You can really get as customized as you want with that. Um, if you have an existing security system, existing existing motion sensors, alarm, or existing sirens or door um, openers, you can integrate that with our GDS 3705 through its built-in or through the alarm in and the alarm out ports. Essentially, the best way to, to use these devices is to put it on a SIP network, make it an extension that allows it to communicate with other extensions on the network. And I have a slide coming up later that's going to talk about this. And this is really, the, my opinion, the most powerful aspect of our GDS series is the way that they integrate and work with, frankly, add features to other Grandstream devices um, to enable you to basically have an intercom and a, uh, you know, a facility access solution that can be accessed, managed, and used anywhere within a building, either from our IP phones or even mobily through our wi upcoming Wi-Fi phones, our DEC phones, or the Grandstream Wave app. Um, and then you would integrate, you know, connect GDS Manager to that SIP network so that all of the traffic, not only from the GDS 3705, can also be a GDS 37010. GD, GDS Manager can manage, fully manage, control GDS devices really in any location as long as they're they're put on the same network um, and then tied back to GDS Manager. Um, so it gives you a centralized place if you're deploying many of these to manage and control all of them from one place, or if you're just con you're putting one or two in, it gives you you know a free web uh, platform to manage, customize. Um, view, track, whatnot, activity with your GDS device. It is ideal for, really, in my opinion, a wide variety of applications. Really, anyone that needs to track, manage, secure, restrict, set permissions to, what have you, um, access to any physical room, building, facility, whatnot. It's, you know, obviously probably most popular for offices, enterprises, um, warehouses specifically to, you know, ensure that only who needs to get in can get in to also track, you know, for, for businesses that need to, to track employee check-in and check-out times and all that just by having somebody swipe their RFID card when they get there or when they check in to start their shift. Um, couple of other really popular ones that we see that I want to highlight, education specifically. Um, working with a couple of different resellers who are doing a lot with our GDSs within the educational field, colleges, universities, um, you know, kindergarten through, uh, we'll call it elementary school, high schools, whatnot. Obviously, you know, in the world we live in today, unfortunately, security um, and access to facilities is such a pot, is really such an important and critical topic for safety. Um, we have a lot of different resellers who have had a lot of success with installing these devices throughout schools, basically to ensure that nobody can get in that shouldn't be able to get in and that if you know basically that there is a security gatekeeper at every entrance that's able to um, kind of keep track of who goes in who goes out and, and restrict access to that as well um, but one of the other really powerful things that we're going to talk about um, and this touches on the integration this device offers is that when you, you know, within a school, obviously teachers, principals, administrators, they're moving around all the time. They're not always tied to a physical desk location. Through our Grandstream Wave mobile app or through our various cordless phones, you can have full access to be able to be notified by this device and actually let people in or talk through the intercom from anywhere with our Wi-Fi phone, our deck phone, or Grandstream Wave. So that's one interesting, um, really popular deployment option that I'm seeing that I wanted to highlight there for you. Um, other ones that we didn't touch on the screen, medical, residential, retail, hospitality, again, anywhere where you need to monitor, restrict, track, manage access to any physical room or facility, 
while also offering an additional security measure. All right, to kind of fly through some of the features, and we talked about a lot of this, um, it creates an intercom when you're pairing it with our with uh, SIP phones, again, as just like our GDS 3710, make it an extension on a SIP network, and then it literally is able to make and receive extension calls to other SIP devices on the network. Um, so again, the you know the way you could pick up your desk phone and make a call to this device and actually have a connection or uh, talk through the intercom with a delivery man at the door, for example. You can have the device set so when the delivery guy or anyone gets there, they can you know it either senses motion and automatically makes a call or you press the doorbell, it automatically triggers a SIP call into you know whatever phone or whatever extension you set. And then, especially if you're using Grandstream phones, you can program those devices to open doors. Going to talk about that in a little bit. Built-in RFID chip reader for keyless entry. We offer an RFID uh, card and fob as an accessory through us that you can buy. I believe it will also, should work with pretty much any um, RFID card or fob. You just have to program them when you to en enact them. Um, to allow for keyless entry, to allow you to track and manage kind of who has access um, to go into GDS Manager and see reports um, of who logged in. Obviously, you can use PIN codes as well. Um, it's a, made with a zinc alloy metal casing, which is both weatherproof and vandal resistant. You can use this device anywhere, deploy it anywhere in any weather conditions, and it will work great for you. Uh, GDS Manager, I've talked about this a little bit. This is free software that is available for use with our GDS series. It basically is the management platform or the management tracking management software for our GDS devices. It gives you one centralized location to track, manage, and record all activity, whether it's free for HR, security, building management, whatever. Um, it gives you centralized management platform for all GDSs can handle and, and you know all the GDSs in multiple locations can all be centrally managed, controlled, tracked from this one location. You use it to set check-in and check-out times to program RFID codes and PIN codes, or RFID cards, excuse me, and PIN codes to set time schedules and hours to restrict access to those PIN codes or RFID codes or, you know, whatever, how, whatever method you use to allow people to get in. Allows you to build your intercom structure, for example, when somebody buzzes this number, who do we call? Or when somebody hits the doorbell, who does it call? All of that's set up through GDS Manager. Uh, last couple of slides here. Um, also, you know, full HD audio built into it not only allows you um, to easily um, hear what's going on, but also to be heard. Um, it gives you, uh, this is, again, this is, I hate putting hard numbers to this because, I mean, we use, we have one of these devices in our office and you can, you can, you know, raise the volume, lower the volume to literally almost whatever you want. Uh, we say it gives you 1.5 meter input range and 3.3 meter output, output range. I believe it to be quite a bit further than that, but that can also be customized and adjusted based on how loud um, you set the volume. I kind of missed the point on the slide. The point was to point out that it, it supports HD audio, the G722 and the Opus Codex, which will allow it to send HD audio connections back and forth through the intercom network. So this is my favorite aspect of these products. And I just got done writing a buyer's guide for our GDS series that you guys will all see soon. Um, and really, the, in my opinion, the coolest thing about the GDS is, is what they allow you to do with other Grandstream devices. They really integrate with and add to your Grandstream solution. They actually expand the features and functionalities of a lot of the Grandstream endpoints that you already have or might be deploying in the future just by adding a GDS 3705 example for your, to your network. So let's just go down. Um, so you see to the right there, I have at the top our, our GXP series of IP phones, 2100, 1700, 1600s included. You just don't see it there. So integrating those, putting those on the same network with our GDS 3705 allows you to have an intercom connection, SIP audio intercom connection between the two, two-way audio, to actually open doors on your Grandstream devices um, or excuse me, press a button on the Grandstream phones to open doors connected through the GDSs. All of our phones, everything you see here on the screen, every Grandstream phone is programmed, so out of the box, it has the ability to, when paired on the same network with the GDS, 
you push when the GDS makes a call to it when someone's requesting access. So soft key, I believe it's in the lower left hand corner, it literally says open door and you can open a door right from that screen um, while having that two way audio intercom conversation with that person. Um, the exclamation point means that the device can receive alerts and this basically means that the device, specifically with the 3705, if you have it set or in integrated with uh, third party motion sensors or other security devices and those devices um, sound an alarm. They will obviously sound an alarm within the GDS and the GDS being a SIP device can then make, SIP, make outbound SIP calls or send emails to notify you that something's happening. To be completely honest, the alerts are a little bit more powerful when you involve our 3710. Because that has video, you can use motion detection, what have you, so that if, you know, it, it will actually be able to make a call um, basically, like any IP camera can, depending on a lot of different security events that you set, motion detection, um, extended, uh, you know, somebody being in the frame for an extended period of time, whatnot, and then actually make a video call and allow you to see video out with the 3710. With the 3705, the alerts can be from devices you might integrate with the 3705, like a motion sensor or a door opener. The, our deck phone, so the bottom two options there also will give you, that's our deck phone, our upcoming Wi-Fi phone, which we'll have a webinar on, uh, preview webinar on next week, <clears throat> and our Grandstream Wave mobile app. All of those are both going to give you two-way streaming SIP audio intercom, both like the 2100 series, going to give you the ability to open the door right from pressing a button on the screen. Um, they also, and this goes to what I was talking about earlier, give you a mobile way to control your facility access solution. Um, as I mentioned, these are, these are all SIP devices. Our, our soft phone is a SIP soft phone. Um, so that basically you can have your GDS 3705 make outbound calls when somebody's requesting access, when somebody buzzes in, whatnot, to any SIP account, which can be loaded on any of these mobile devices so that, or, or cordless devices so that wherever you are, the example I used earlier, uh, a principal in a school, if maybe somebody's requesting access, they obviously can't sit at the door all day. They can actually get the call on their mobile, on their mobile phone or their cordless phone, have that two-way intercom connection, audio intercom conversation, and then decide to open the door. Um, if if I may, kind of a, another extended use of that is with our 3710 um, and the Grandstream Wave mobile app, which does support two-way video calls um, in which you could actually, on your mobile device, see live video um, while having an audio conversation through the intercom with the GDS 3710 and then decide to let somebody in. A little bit of a extended functionality there. Last couple of slides here. I see that I, you know, we had a little bit of a delay at the beginning. I'm going a little bit longer than I'd hoped to, but last couple of slides. Uh, some other integrations just to mention, like our other GDS, uh, or excuse me, like 3710. It is compatible with third party NVRs, network video recorders, network attached stores, and video management softwares that are ONVIF Profile S compliant. The GDS 3710 and 3705 are both ONVIF Profile S compliant. Um, it is also compliant. We talked a lot about this with third party door sense or third party, um, excuse me, third party security devices that would be connected to the alarm in and the alarm out ports, things such as door openers, sirens, alarms, motion sensors, et cetera. All right, that's all I got for you today. Um, kind of previewing two of our upcoming products, the HD 13, which will be out this Thursday, the 16th. That is our one FXS and one FXO port ATA. And the GD, we also talked about the GDS 3705, which we're looking to launch in early September. That is our audio only door system. Um, whereas we currently have 3710, which is a video and audio door system, 3705 is audio only. This webinar, yeah, to, to answer the question that just came in, I did record it. We will make a copy available out to everyone that attended or signed up, both the audio and the video recording. Um, so yeah, that, uh, that takes me through all everything I had planned for you here today. If you do have any questions, feel free to type them over through the chat. 
had a couple come in that I was able to answer just throughout the course of the webinar. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to submit them to me now. If not, that pretty much wraps up today's webinar. Keep an eye out for these two new upcoming products. Um, this video, or as I mentioned, this was recorded. We're going to post a copy to our YouTube page, and I'll send you an email with a link, send all of you an email with a link to that. Keep an eye out for the HT13, which is planned to be launched this Thursday, August 16th, and keep an eye out for the GDS3705, which is planned for launch in early September. For our next product preview webinar next Wednesday, I believe, the 22nd of August, we will be previewing our WP820, which is our upcoming cordless Wi-Fi phones. Or uh, Yeah, it is, without a doubt, probably the most... Um, What's the word that I'm looking for? It is the most anticipated product that maybe we have ever released here. Um, it, we have, there's a lot of people really excited about this product. Wi-Fi Voice is a huge burgeoning upcoming industry that really has, frankly, a long way to go, and we're excited to really be kind of leading that. So we hope you join us next Wednesday to learn about the WPA20 and also how to build Wi-Fi solutions with Wi-Fi Voice solutions with Grand Stream IP phones. So that's it. Thanks everyone for being here today. Hope to see you again soon and have a great day.